In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and all that is in them. Man was placed in a garden of Eden, a paradise on a planet created specifically for mankind, and given access to the tree of life, granting him immortality. As for the angels themselves, they had heaven, and access to the very throne of God itself. One day, greed struck the heart of one of God's creation, the one today known as the devil, who wanted the throne of God for himself. He turned a third of all of the angels against God to help him obtain the throne in rebellion. God looked and saw his child filled with envy, greed, and pride, saying, I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the Mount of Assembly in the far reaches of the north. I will ascend above the top of the clouds, and I will make myself the Most High. However, God is loving and just, and he knew that to destroy his creation because of rebellion would cause all of creation to only obey God out of fear and not love. So God had a plan to cast the devil to earth and give him to man and show all of creation what would happen if man chose to sin. It tells us in Ezekiel, saying, You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor, and I cast you to earth. I made you a spectacle before kings. This way, God would not have to kill his child because of rebellion, and then have to try and explain the dangers of sin to his creation. Rather, he will let sin speak for itself and show how bad it is, so that all of creation can see and understand when God destroys the devil, why he had to, and there will be no question as to why. Because he chose sin, and sin leads to death, as witnessed in our world today. The Bible says the devil was a murderer, yet he had not killed anyone yet. So why was he called this? Because he was a liar and caused many fellow angels to sin and follow him. They chose sin just as he did. But God is not evil. He loves all of his children. He doesn't want to destroy his creation, but sin must be destroyed. They chose sin and therefore they're attached to it. And anyone listening also has this choice. Remember, Paul himself said, I die daily. Die to what? Himself. He was talking about the old him, the one that loves to sin. Be as Paul and fight against sin and choose life. Your Father in heaven is filled with more love than you can ever imagine. And when he returns for us again, he cannot allow sin into his kingdom. So if you are attached to sin, you cannot enter. Salvation is a free gift, and it says to come to God as a child. As the prophet Elijah said to his servant, Do not be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Referring to the angels that chose God's side rather than to rebel. The sacrificial lamb has already been sacrificed on your behalf, for your sins. This was God's gift to you, and for you. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but shall have eternal life.